It's been quite some time since the Westminster chimes were last heard on the University at Buffalo South Campus. The chimes stopped in 2011 as the renovations of Hayes Hall began. They were restarted last week as workers cleaned and dusted the clock. The renovations for the hall is molding the building into a state-of-the-art facility for learning and research in architecture and planning. I view the chimes and, the, and Hayes Hall itself as a metaphor for the re resurgence of the South Campus and the whole of the Buffalo Niagara region. UB's vision for the South Campus includes restoring it to the original vision laid out by E.B. Green, making it more approachable and pedestrian friendly. So the renovation of Hayes Hall is just one of many projects that UB has undertaken in recent years on the South Campus. One man said that the chimes were once an annoyance to him and that they were like a snooze button that you could never turn off. But he then ended up having an appreciation of the chimes through his wife, who was once a University at Buffalo graduate. Uh, she told me at, uh, about how the uh, ringing of the chimes uh, were different for every 15 minute interval and that she was able to uh, kind of organize her day with, with study, with wake up, with, with going to bed uh, just by, uh, by listening to these chimes. Officials say these chimes have been a very iconic symbol to the community. The bells ring every 15 minutes and have been around for more than 80 years. Hayes Hall is set for ribbon cutting next fall. The renovation of the building and the restarting of the chimes is an important milestone in the development of South Campus. Their familiar ring is greeting students, faculty, and the community around it again. In Buffalo, Victoria Rizzo, Time Warner Cable News.